everybody, to right back at it again with another video on Ready or Not because it just came out with another briefing. This one is briefing number 58, Suspect AI. Let's just go ahead and hop into it. It starts off by saying, Calling all units, welcome to the 58th edition of our bi-weekly newsletter. Today, we will introduce yet another highly anticipated feature, the upcoming Suspect AI in Ready or Not. Please note that what is presented is a work in progress, and the final results may look or play differently from what this newsletter represents. Introduction. Our AI design team is always looking for ways to enhance the gameplay loop, making the game feel even more realistic and challenging. Today's newsletter will discuss the suspect AI systems and how we aim to throw a spanner in your perfectly laid out plans. Join us as we speak about the AI system and how our AI designer Bradley tackles the challenge of making suspects behave more naturally toward player actions. All right, moving on to the next thing here, the gameplay loop. At its core, Ready or Not thrives on immersing players in a realistic, challenging, tactical first-person environment. However, this comes with challenges. How do we make the gameplay loop stable and challenging while still remaining fair? The answer to this question is quite complex, and to properly immerse the player, we are exploring many ways that AI can interact and react to certain situations. They got this really cool looking picture right here. This will probably be the thumbnail most likely. Of like the various bad guys from different levels. This guy I believe is featured in the Wonderly Hills Hotel. This guy is normally in the gas station. These guys we find that um, well mostly in the multiplayer but I, I don't know they might have been put in the wine level. I forget the name of the level but it's cool to see these guys up together. Moving on here. Suspect AI freedom of movement. Many FPS games with enemy AI may set an optimal combat distance when fighting the player. This makes AI, aka actors, in those games have potentially undesirable behaviors on some levels, such as leaving rooms with the player at awkward moments. In Ready or Not, though, we strive to give our AI freedom to improvise and reapproach situations and face players with the challenge of controlling that chaos. Something I think Ready or not, has an advantage over others in that department is where we're able to embrace chaos. In traditional shooters, linear ones anyway, when level designers place down actors in a scene, it's generally with the intention that they work within an area they're placed in. In Ron, we only care about this in pre-combat, where we keep them constrained to the general area they spawn in. Once the AI is alert, their interaction with the area will dictate how fights feel. So, for instance, in the agency map, it's not uncommon to have more drawn out, intense gunfights in the lobby due to it having multiple interconnecting entrances and coverage for all AI to attack from. Conversely, if you push into the hallway past it, they often duck into one of the rooms to flank you or wait for you since they can't find a good spot to take cover. Honestly, I really like that I can lean more into chaos in the game. However, Bradley also describes the following new system intended to address crowded or empty AI spawn areas, allowing for optimal gameplay flow on each level. One thing we did recently is add a spawn grouping system. This will allow us to ensure specific parts of the map don't get too crowded or possibly too empty by setting a minimum maximum desired number of characters to spawn within a certain group. This lets me do stuff like set a bunch of possible spawns in an area, then limit the group max number to like two guys. So there could be 10 possible spawns, but we won't have to worry about the 10 guys in there. And then we got like a gif right here that's kind of showing the areas of where he's walking it seems. I can't really read any of this stuff unfortunately, I don't know if I have like a better image, but... It looks interesting. But yeah, it's definitely showing all the AI stuff here, which is pretty cool. Underneath this GIF, it says, Neural AI movement set in an area before player interaction. This is before we enter the building, essentially. Pretty cool. Seems like stuff that we kind of already knew, though. This is like the rehashing what we've already known. But anyways, moving on here. Suspect AI decision making. Suspects have unfortunately been seen as targets you have to stun or kill because they'll inevitably shoot at you once they become aware. One of the challenges we are tackling to ensure that suspects behave more naturally based on player action Actions, we want to ensure that suspects will act accordingly. You blow a door open, some suspects will act surprised and cower, and others may hold their ground. This aims to reinvigorate scenarios. Players will never know what to expect when tackling obstacles. Then they have another GIF here. Oh yeah, he sees him and then he like gives up. I mean, that's pretty cool. But I feel like this is stuff that we've already seen before. I feel like this uh, update so far has just been kind of rehashing stuff that we already know. But it looks a little different out front here, though. Like, I don't remember that, that star being on the freaking sidewalk right there. So maybe this might be the updated version. Like, that. see there's a little star? It might be an updated version. Yeah, see? Oh, oh, wait. 
Never mind. But anyways, use of force. In line with the above and some other scenarios, a suspect might not act aggressively. Based on what a player does, suspects may choose several actions, including surrendering, cowering, retreating, grouping, and of course, showing aggression to name a few. But what happens when a suspect simply does not open fire? In moments like these, you have to consider the use of force continuum. Shooting a non-hostile suspect will have consequences. Proceed with the utmost caution and attempt to de-escalate using less than lethal methods. Though, of course, some situations cannot be avoided. You shouldn't be shooting suspects who haven't shown aggression. So situations where a suspect does not fire can potentially be more stressful. Who knows if other suspects are on the way while you're trying to get him to comply. Underneath this is another GIF. He's in the same bathroom of, um... Briggsley time that map I forget the name the Briggsley map so they're in the Briggsley map again and this is the bathroom area and of course he uh you know gets back up and pulls out a weapon and when you see that happening that's generally when I open fire but again this is kind of stuff that we've already known so is this just well I mean for me I've already known but for newer people I guess it's going to be helpful information but I feel like this shouldn't be in a newsletter? But underneath this GIF it says AI fake surrender GIF. But anyways, in conclusion, this concludes our 58th briefing. Be sure to tune in next time for more development news. Uh, again, this is another short one and also one that kind of doesn't really touch on anything particularly new. It feels very um, just discussing stuff that we've already known. And I, I mean, I guess they're improving the systems, but it's basically regurgitating the stuff that we've already known so honestly i kind of don't see the point of this newsletter because there's no real news when this stuff talks about stuff that we kind of already know that's in the game currently maybe they're just improving it but it doesn't feel that way like it just feels like they explained a bunch of stuff that is already in game so tell me what your thoughts on that is i guess if there's any issue that i really have with freddy or not right at the moment it's that they haven't really had an update for like a almost nine months at this point the Adam update came out like, I don't even remember when it came out, it came out so long ago. According to the freaking video that I have where I actually streamed it like the day of, yeah it was like 8 months ago, god damn, it has been a long time. Alright well that's pretty much everything I have to talk about when it comes to Ready or Not, so tell me what your guys' thoughts are below. Kinda sucks that, you know, we're not getting a whole lot of updates, but it is what it is I guess. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll catch you in the next one, Bye bye